For the longest time, I have been avoiding colors like how I avoid my life responsibilities. And this meme speaks to me on a soul level. But today, we're finally gonna talk about colors while I wear my little black top. Hi guys, it's Gloria, a slow fashion blogger who has an unhealthy obsession with black and white. If you have been following me for a while, you're probably pretty familiar with my wardrobe by now. My wardrobe largely consists of neutral pieces, and the only real color I will wear is probably red. However, I realize it's important for me to address that wearing neutrals is just my personal preference. If you love colors and know what colors work for you, you should absolutely rock them. There's nothing wrong with wearing colors, and there's nothing wrong with not wearing colors. But in this video, I am going to go through the basics of how to figure out what colors work best for your complexion so that you know what to look out for next time you shop for colorful clothes. And I'm also going to show you a colorful lookbook towards the end of this video. This is going to be the most colors you will ever see me wear, so don't miss it. If you want to understand what colors will work for you, you need to first know the basics of color theory. But the truth is, I actually suck at color theory, so I have this little tool to help me. This is a color wheel. We're only going to look at something really basic. On the left side of the wheel, you see yellow, orange, and red. These are usually considered warm colors. And on the right side of the wheel, you see green, blue, and violet. These are usually considered cool colors. And for each color, if you add more yellow to it, it becomes warmer. And if you add more blue to it, it becomes cooler. And that's all you need to know before we dive into the mysterious seasonal color analysis. What the heck is seasonal color analysis, you may ask? Ho ho ho, I'm here to explain it to you. Seasonal color analysis is a tool that helps us figure out what colors work harmoniously with our natural hair color, eye color, and skin undertone. Some of you may have heard of the four season color analysis. Basically, it divides us into spring, summer, autumn, and winter. That system is kind of outdated now, but it's the foundation of the more up-to-date systems. So let's start from there, and then we'll go deeper into the more advanced system, because I want to give you the latest information. In the traditional four season color analysis, we first look at your skin undertone. Is it more warm or cool? You can do the vein test. If your veins are more blue, you're cool. If your veins are more green, you're warm. If you have a warm undertone, you're either a spring or an autumn. And if you have a cool undertone, you're either a summer or a winter. Now that you know you're warm or cool, we're going to look at your contrast, otherwise known as value. Here we're mainly looking at your eye color and your natural hair color. I repeat, natural hair color. Say you have a cool undertone. Are your eyes and hair color light or deep? If they're light, you're a summer. If they're deep, you're a winter. And for the warm undertone, if your eyes and hair color are light, you're a spring. If they're deep, you're an autumn. Simple, right? But as you can see, this system leaves out a lot of possibilities. And here comes the third piece of the puzzle, the flow. This is for those of you who don't quite fit into any of the four seasons, so your flow between seasons. And this is where we update the traditional four seasons to the more advanced 16 seasons. However, the catch is, Usually, you will need a professional to drape different fabrics on you to determine what kind of flow you are. I actually took an image consulting course and had my colors professionally done by my teacher. Didn't tell you that, did I? Anyway, I know most people don't have that kind of resources, so I'm gonna try to go through a bootleg workaround for that. It probably won't be very accurate, but I just wanna show you an idea of how it works. In order to determine your flow, we also need to take into account your chroma or intensity. When you look at your overall complexion, your eyes, hair, and skin, is it predominantly bright or muted? Bright means your skin, hair, and eyes are very reflective. Muted means they're more matte. Okay, now you know your undertone, value, and intensity. Just to recap, your undertone is either warm or cool, your value is either light or deep, and your intensity is either bright or muted. If all three of the characteristics seem quite balanced, then you're likely a true winter or a true summer as an example. That means you're not a flow or not in between seasons. But if there's any particular characteristic that really stands out compared to the rest, like if you're particularly bright or particularly cool, then you might belong to one of the subgroups. For example, if you're not a true winter, then you could be a bright winter, a cool winter, or a deep winter, depending on which characteristic stands out the most. I made a table so that you can see all 16 possibilities. 
I know for a fact that I'm a true winter, which means I have a cool undertone, deep hair and eye color, and bright overall complexion. And all these characteristics are quite balanced. And technically, these are the colors that will work really well for me. All the colors that I'm not gonna wear. And I also have this personal palette here to help me because I suck at colors and I need all the help I could get. Obviously, I had to work with a professional for this, but there are actually lots of resources online showing you what colors work best for each season. I'll link some resources down below for you. Most of the free resources I was able to find are about 4 seasons or 12 seasons, but they will definitely help point you in the right direction, so make sure to check them out. Well, there is no use talking about colors without at least trying it. So in the next part, I'm going to try a full week of colorful outfits. And I want to give a shout out to Petite Studio for providing me with most of these colorful pieces. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have enough colorful clothes to show you. Now, please enjoy this episode of Gloria attempting to wear colors. Day 1, I'm wearing a white dress with colorful flowers on it. No, I'm not cheating here. Or maybe I am. But this is called adding an accent color. It's a trick for a person like myself to ease into this whole color thing. Oh, by the way, I once said wet shoes were the ugliest thing. But then I bought a pair of Asper Joes. Day 2, I'm ready to move on to the next stage. I'm wearing a colorful skirt. Let's face it, it's not like I'll just jump into wearing color overnight. So my trick is to move it away from my face. I'm still wearing color, but I have my beloved white top to give me a sense of familiarity and comfort. Isn't that smart? Day 3, I'm more comfortable with wearing color, but I'm still not fully committed yet, so my trick is to move the color towards my face, but still have my good old white pants at the bottom to make me feel like I haven't completely lost my identity. Oh, look at my new Cali sunglasses that look exactly like my old ones. Gotta keep my identity, you know? Day 4, I'm finally feeling ready to commit to wearing color from head to toe. <gasps> I'm sure this is the first time you see me wearing a green dress. This is the first time I see myself wearing a green dress too. I must say it actually looks surprisingly good. This green is supposed to be on my color palette. Well, I guess color analysis didn't lie after all. Day 5, I'm feeling quite bold. I'm wearing a full mint green gingham set. Wow, somebody call a news station, please. Well, actually, this is not that shocking. The color scheme is still pretty simple, and the icy mint color is supposed to be on the winter palette too, so I think I'm still in the safe zone. Whew. Day 6, I'm wearing a yellow floral dress. You've seen this dress before. You're not gonna see a lot of warm colors like yellow and orange on a winter palette. The only yellows you're gonna see are probably lemon yellow and icy yellow. This dress is quite close to lemon yellow. Here's a lemon for your reference. So I would say, good choice, Gloria. Good choice. Day 7. I'm wearing this pink floral dress that I bought 4 years ago when I thought I was ready to move away from black and white, but I was wrong. It's a beautiful dress, but I barely wore it. Now, I've just learned that true pink, ice pink, and hot pink could all look good on a winter. So maybe I'll wear this dress a bit more. Maybe. 